it's Wendy. Today I'm going to be showing you a quick tutorial on a Valentine's Day inspired look. I figured this is a great video for anyone who loves love, just like me. I decided to go with a lot of pinks and rosy colors because what's Valentine's Day without pink? <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoy. Happy Valentine's Day. So start with your face and foundation program and your favorite cup of coffee and I'm going in with a Too Faced bronzer just to contour lightly and also add some tan to my skin because on a date everybody looks better when they're tan in the candlelight. You can see I'm applying it on my forehead, under my cheekbones, and along my jawline and down on my neck to make it blend. Then I'm using Urban Decay's Eden Eyelid Primer and I'm applying that to my lids to cover any um, veins that are there. And then I'm using Lime Crime The Grunge as my palette. You can see there's a lot of warm reds and pinks. I'm starting with the color Shell, which is a light pink, and I'm applying that on my eyelid and up to my brow bone. Um, and you can see how warm this shade goes on. Now I'm taking a smaller brush and in my crease I'm applying the shade Rebirth which is like a deeper pink shade and it's very bright so I followed it up with a clean brush to blend out the edges. smoke out the look and mute it down a little. I followed it in with a neutral color in the palette called Divine. And you can see I'm adding this on the outer V of my eye, so right in the crease where it kind of ends at my eyebrow, and then right along the very bottom of that lash line in a V shape. And here's the finished three colors, blend it all out. And now it's time for highlight. I'm taking Aura, which is the white shimmery shade. Everything in this palette is just amazing, really saturated. I put that on my brow bone and in my tear ducts. And then I'm taking Urban Decay's Delinquent Eyeliner and I'm just lining my top line um, with this color. I have a Lancome Le Crayon in Coal. I'm not sure how you say it, but it's a really good black eyeliner and it goes on like liquid. And I'm using this to line my bottom waterline and then I also line my top waterline, which is a little tricky when you first try it and it kind of tickles, but it does fill in the spaces between your eyelashes and automatically makes them fuller. And I'm smudging them both out with a smudger, which is pretty much a glorified eye, uh, cotton swab. Next is eyelashes. I'm still using Stila's Huge Extreme Lash Mascara, which I really do like. And now it's time for cheeks and lips. I'm using Impress by Tarte for my blush, which is a nice pink, rosy color that I think complements the eyes. I'm also gonna put on a highlighter to make your, sh your skin sheen. I'm using a Lancome One Shimmering Nude, and I'm adding that to my cheekbones to give it a little bit of a shimmer. And then for lips, I'm using Lancome's Love Flower, which is a nice shimmery pink, and I'm covering that with a star gloss from Lancome um, called Pink Glow that just gives it that shine that you like, very kissable Valentine's Day lips. And here is the finished Valentine's Day look. Lots of pink, lots of love, hope you enjoyed. look. I'd love comments below on what you thought. Sometimes pink is a little extreme for some people and they worry that it's going to make them look like they have pink eye or whatever, but if you mix it in with some muted colors, pink can be a really beautiful color on your eyelid, on your lips, on your cheeks, everywhere on Valentine's Day. Um, so let me know what you thought and uh, stay tuned for some more looks coming up. I know uh, St. Patrick's Day is coming around the corner and I'm going to start working on some prom ideas for people going to prom this spring. So lots of really exciting stuff. Uh, be sure to like my video and subscribe and then check, check out my Instagram. I post a lot of stuff on there too and you get to know me a little bit better I think. 
So be sure to check that out at Wendelin128 and stay tuned for my next video. Bye!